Welcome back everyone to the Alton Towers Resort. It is absolutely fantastic to be back here today and over the course of the next three days as well we're here from Friday till Sunday to experience their brand new Mardi Gras event which is new for 2021. We've come over from the monorail, got to be a bit later today because of you know some high traffic on the motorway getting up here but it is fantastic to be back down here to experience their Mardi Gras event. I thought I'd do the intro because I've never actually done an intro from Alton Towers outside the park as you can see there behind me. You've got the main entrance which we're about to go through and we're showing you all, all the information that you can see on Tower Street as well. Corkscrew as well behind me of course the iconic corkscrew had to take some awesome pictures of that and some cinematics which you saw throughout the intro uh, and the start of the video. But yeah we're gonna head into the park really is great that we're gonna be try trying out Mardi Gras today look really looking forward to testing out the event and I cannot wait I've got the sunglasses on because it is really sunny today compared to back at home it was raining down down south but yeah up north it seems to have the most lovely weather ever blue skies really looking forward to it and the towers are open as well now to experience might not do that today but of course we're here for the next three days we'll be checking out all of them but yeah let's head into Alton Towers cannot wait I cannot wait to get back on Nemesis and some of my other favorites here at the park but yeah let's head in scan our annual passes and yeah I'll see you inside the park Fantastic. I'm loving the colours and such a nice uh, entrance procedure there. Lovely uh, kind of inflatable things blowing up at the entrance. Of course the Mardi Gras logo which I want to get a picture, uh, a picture of later outside. If not I'll get it later on this weekend. But yeah, here we go. Here's a look. I'm going to take you over here. Here's some look at more of the uh, photo points. Mutiny Bay crew, Katanga crew. I'm guessing maybe at the start of the day you have all the actors standing out here. I'm not too sure. Of course we got here a bit later today. So we'll be checking that later. Here's another thing I want to do, I forgot to say that in the intro, Gangster Granny, we are definitely doing that this weekend. I really am looking forward to testing out Gangster Granny. It's going to be such a fun experience to try that out. Heard there's lots of good reviews about it. But yeah, let's head on, check out some more of the Mardi Gras entertainments. Here we go then, walking up, bit of first bit of Mardi Gras entertainment here. Look at this, walking down to Forbidden Valley, we're going to try out Galactica and Nemesis. Here we go. Hey! Keep it going. Oh, a bit of a dance. Oh, it's such a good feeling. It's such a good environment around here. I love the atmosphere they're making. Great piece of theming around here. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to try and go on Nemesis. I think we're going to go to Galactica first. It's got a short of queue. Oh, come on. Oh. I've got chills right now. That is, oh, it's the best coaster ever, Nemesis. Right, but we're going to head down to Galactica first, try that out, because Nemesis has got a 50 minute wait. So we're going to head down, try out Galactica, and then, uh, and then we'll go and, then we'll go do Nemesis again. I can see one of the retro squad rides down there. Yeah, let's head over to Galactica. Ah, oh, it's great to be back here at Alton awesome Towers. The atmosphere here, and you, could, you're, you, you're enjoying yourself even when you're not on the rides. It's such an amazing atmosphere here at Alton awesome Towers. And you know, we'll head down to Galactica. Really looking forward to it. There it is in the distance. Let's go. Well then, that was absolutely fantastic to get back on Galactica there. Really is such a great coaster. A lot of people, there's mixed reviews on it, especially with the VR. What I do wish, I've never actually got the chance to do it with the VR, so I've kind of basically just done air to be fair. And what I would like to see them do is bring back like, the VR headset as an optional thing. That'd be quite nice to see. And then, yeah, they'll have the option, but at the minute, because of COVID, it would be you know, impossible pretty much to do, because it would make the throughput quite bad. And you'd probably have to do time tickets like Darren Brown on that. But yeah, really great ride to start the day off here on Galactica. What we've decided to do today, what we've, uh, we, ha we actually, luckily, had some uh, leftover fast passes from 2017 when we had the passes back then. We had some, you know, gold and silver fast passes. So quite lucky for us, we'd be able to use them tomorrow and the day after as well, on Sunday. So really, really happy about that. So we'll be using the fast passes then to get on all the rides as well. That doesn't include Gangster Granny or some of the flat rides uh, from the Retro Squad, I do not think. Gangster Granny is definitely not, but I'm not sure about the Retro Squad just yet. 
But yeah, as I say, great ride on Galactica. And what we're going to do today is basically ride a Nemesis and then have a look round of the Mardi Gras event and explore some of the gardens and tower ruins as well, because that's something we really wanted to do as well, seeing as, you know, it's half a day here. We didn't, don't have too long left. Uh, well, I say we don't have too long left. It's open till eight, isn't it? So, uh, you know, we'll have a look around the uh, tower ruins, have a look around the gardens. I want to try, get yeah, on one of the retro squad rides. I think we have a Walter. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, uh, but one of the retro squad rides, the Waltzer, we're going to head over to Dark Forest as well after we've looked around the gardens, because that hasn't got the longest of queues. I think it's about a 10 minute queue for that. But yeah, we'll head over there. Uh, but, but first, we're going to go on the one and only Nemesis, the absolute beauty that's behind me. My favourite coaster here in the park. And it, oh, yeah, and it's just coming. My favourite coaster here and my favourite coaster in the United Kingdom. I'm holding my favourite coaster overall at the minute. It's such a great coaster, such an iconic coaster here at the park. And you know, it just keeps getting better every every time I ride it. So yeah, first time in 221, let's head on to Nemesis. I'll probably speak to you in the queue line. If not, enjoy some of the cinematic footage coming up from Nemesis. Yeah, we're walking around, probably done half the queue now. Not too long left, to be fair, as I said, 15 minutes. It was advertised a half an hour minute, uh, half an hour queue. So I'm, I, I think they're pretty spot on with that with that advertisement of the queue. We, move, we do move quite quickly in the Nemesis queue, to be fair. You do, you do get quite a good throughput on this. See, we're heading down. Yeah, you can see it going up behind me. Where is it? I don't know where it is. There it is. Beautiful. But yeah, let's head on Nemesis. Enjoy some of the footage. I, 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 I can't wait, I'm so excited. I mean, what can I say that Nemesis, unbelievable. Fantastic to be back on my favorite coaster here in the UK and of course my favorite at the park. But what we thought we'd do is take a nice leisurely stroll as I mentioned earlier through the gardens and they look absolutely lovely especially in that sunlight look at them it, you really don't realize how beautiful they are to actually step in in inside the actual gardens themselves and especially these kind of arched hedges that i'm walking through now these were used for the uh, garden lights walk which of course happened at christmas probably won't be getting in for christmas uh, this year might probably will be coming down for Scarefest though uh, and i do believe they had a bit of a uh, kind of light light thing in here as well for halloween as well uh, which was really nice but yeah i thought we'd take a leisurely stroll through the gardens show some of the uh, you know garden gardens to all of you uh, and yeah well, i think we're gonna head over to oblivion try that one out as well because that's only got a 20 minute queue it's advertised so don't mind waiting that for oblivion so you know it's it's fantastic to be back here at the autumn towns resort and have a little walk around the towers later as well um if we get the chance to uh, if not we'll definitely do it later this weekend yeah, let's walk up these steps up to the conservatory. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll carry on speaking to you up here. I mean, just how stunning are these views, especially with the refurbished conservatory over here. They, it look, it's just absolutely stunning. And of course, when the gardens were open, this was used as a garden center. And that was quite a funny idea to be fair. I didn't actually think we'd ever see something like that come towards some towers, a garden center. But the gardens being open here, the conservatories do look lovely, especially topped with that golden spire thing. I'm not too sure what you call them, but kind of top with that golden spire. They're absolutely lovely, especially with all the glass work uh, when the Alton Towers Loving Care Programme. But yeah, I absolutely love the gardens here. Such a beautiful part of Alton Towers and something that I don't think is, uh, you know, really uh, respected as much as I think it would be. I don't think it's appreciated as much. That's kind of the word I was looking for. Appreciated. I think when people come here, they definitely should check out these gardens, even if it's just a small stroll through. They definitely should check out that's quite an hour uh, low low hedge um but yeah i definitely think you should check it out but yeah i think we're gonna head up through here up through the uh food market stalls i'll show you a bit of footage from there but yeah let's head up to x sector looking forward to getting on oblivion again probably won't do smiler today as i said we got quite lucky having those fast passes from a few years ago that we're going to be using uh, throughout the rest of the weekend so we'll definitely go on the smiler uh with them 
Yeah, let's head up to Egg Sector. Looking forward to it. So here we go then. Walking along, I think it's called Food Street or something. Uh, a bit similar to Oktoberfest, except it's dedicated to this whole path along here, uh, which which has been utilised rather well, to be fair. Got a nice selection of benches laid out as well if you're having food here. And of course, down there is the main stage, and we'll definitely have to check out some of the shows uh, this weekend. There you go. That's one of your main food things you have here Greek food, uh, see, street food wraps. There's another one. Definitely great selection of food on offer, and it's you know it's nice to see them bringing in all these uh, different food outlets. And I'm pretty sure that you cannot use Merlin discount with these, sadly. Uh, but New York noodle, Chinese food, uh, pizza over there. Yeah, so a great selection of uh, you know things that you can do here and for, buy for food. Great selection of food, and we'll definitely have to buy. I think we definitely are going to buy some uh, food from here tomorrow. So that's going to be great. I'm going to try some of that, gives it a bit of a food review. Um, but yeah, that's going to be really good. But yeah, here we go. There's a smile. Let's head over to Oblivion in X Sector. So here's some more of the Mardi Gras entertainment here in X Sector. Great bit of entertainment down here. I love it. It really brings some really nice atmospheres here in the park. Yeah, here we go. There's a mix break down there as well. Here, here we go, heading on to Oblivion now. Looking forward to this. Do love Oblivion. It's, it always uh, builds up that sort of uh, kind of adrenaline, really. You know, it gets your heart racing, definitely. So right now I'm looking forward to experiencing Oblivion again. Once again, for 2021, we get some good angles in Oblivion. Thank you. Like, here comes Oblivion now. Yeah, beautiful. Of course, the world's first ever B&M dive roller coaster that opened here at Autumn Towers. Very special, very special record for the park to hold. Such a great coaster as well. And actually, not the longest of queues today, really. I'm quite surprised uh, about the queues at the minute. I think the Smiler's only on a 60-minute queue uh, from what we saw a minute ago. And then Wicked Man, I think, was about 75. So, you know, for a lovely sunny day, uh, I have high hopes for this weekend as well then. Tomorrow it's definitely going to be a lot warmer than today. So we'll definitely need to be bringing in some sort of sunscreen uh, tomorrow. And I do recommend if you ever come to a thing like a sunny day, definitely bring some uh, water or some sort of liquid. And of course, some sort of something to keep you hydrated. That's why I said something to keep you hydrated. And of course, some sunscreen as well. So yeah, here we go. Some great views of Oblivion. Of course, Smiler is running next sex up. Really is, and I really am loving the Mardi Gras theme. We're going to, we're going to go a bit more into deep detail uh, a bit later on in the vlog. Of course, as I mentioned, we're not going to do many rides today. We're going to mainly focus on Mardi Gras because we're here for the weekends, and of course, we got the fast track as well. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. More than Mardi Gras entertainment, of course, we'll still cover it throughout the week. But you know, getting to see the gardens, getting to see the tower ruins. But yeah, let's head on to Oblivion. Great ride there then on Oblivion, really did enjoy that. And now we're heading on to Mixtape. Of course, when we joined the Oblivion queue, it was a 40 minute wait. Somehow, it's died down to 15 minutes. So I thought for the first Retro Squad ride, I'd give Mixtape a go. I think it's basically a frog hopper type ride. I'm not too sure. I need to do a bit more research into it. I haven't really done a video on the uh, on these rides. But yeah, I thought I'd give it a go though. Try it out, 15 minute queue. I don't mind waiting that for, for Mixtape. One of the four Retro Squad, well, three Retro Squads. Uh, along with uh, the other one, Fab, Fab Flavio's, something in David Whammy control. Yeah, I'm going to head on, enjoy some of the uh, off ride footage from Mixtape, and yeah, I'll give you my review afterwards. Well then, an awesome ride there on Mixtape. Quite, quite, a, quite an, an, you know, weird experience to be fair. Nice fog hopper style ride. Nice speaking to the staff member on there. If you're watching this, shout out to you. Nice speaking to you on there. It was really nice to talk to. 
uh, his first season here. But yeah, mixtape was really nice, really good addition to the part, and it really is, uh, you know, sh uh, spreading out those cues to be fair around the resort, especially. Uh, I'm going on a, we're going on Oblivion again. Uh, that's, that's, I think that's only a 10 minute queue. It's advertised half an hour, but I don't think they've updated it yet. Because I was looking, and right at the top, people are just walking into the station, so no queue really for that. If anything, 10 minute queue. But yeah, after Oblivion, we're going to wrap up our day. We decided that because, because it's kind of near the end of the day now, we wouldn't really have as much time to check out the towers as much as we want to. So, what we're going to do, seeing as we're here for three days, we're going to go and check that out tomorrow, if not Sunday, uh, check out the towers then, which is fine, we'll still get to see them, and I'm really looking forward to seeing behind the scenes of the towers. But yeah, mixtape, really good addition to the park, really can't wait to check out some of the other uh, flat rides here, we'll check out the uh, Flavio's, uh, Fabulous Fandango, I think is the name, good use of alliteration there, but yeah, we're going to go check out that, that tomorrow, if not the day after. The music's quite loud in this bit. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. But yeah, gonna, as, I, as I say, I'm gonna head on a bit in the end. Mixtape, really good, didn't queue long for that, as I was saying. It was advertised 40 when we went on Oblivion the first time, and then 15 when I went off, so I thought I'd go on Mixtape, check it out, and then do Oblivion one more time. But yeah, shout out to the staff member once again. If you're watching this, Mixtape, really good, really enjoyed it. I'll probably do it again and uh, again this trip, if not later on when we come back in the year. Yeah, thanks for joining me on Mixtape. And yeah, let's head on to Oblivion for the last ride of the day. And after Oblivion, we'll go check out some of the Mardi Gras we're leaving. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you after Oblivion. Enjoy more of the Oblivion off five foot. Everyone, that is the end of our day and the first day of three here at Alton Towers Resort. Being absolutely fantastic getting back, checking out the uh, at Mardi Gras atmosphere, and it's just been fantastic getting back on my favourite coaster as well, Nemesis. Such an amazing coaster. Really, really been missing it over the last few months uh, since Oktoberfest last year. And I do have to say, Mardi Gras for me might be beating Oktoberfest. I'm not too sure. I did really enjoy Oktoberfest. They're kind of tied at the minute. Uh, so I'm going to have to see over the next, the course of the next few days uh, what I actually prefer. But yeah, we're going to head back home now uh, and then we're going to come back the next two days. As I've said throughout the vlog, we're going to be coming back, doing many more vlogs from all of you, getting loads of more uh, kind of POVs where we can, checking out Gangster Granny. I'm going to do a review on that tomorrow. We're going to be heading out to foot that right that right first because it kind of is one of those that get this morning it had about 170 minute queue at the start of the day so you know we're going to be heading out to that first try and check out flavio's uh, fabulous fandango as well uh, tomorrow as well do we want to get on that yeah that's been the end of our day at the auto towns resort thanks so much for tuning in everyone and i'll see you all in the next video remember to subscribe as well for more awesome awesome towns vlogs and turn on those notifications so you don't miss them see you all later everyone